Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are getting started right away today. So first and foremost, I will never reach out to you. Please do not get scammed by anyone. If um, somebody reaches out to you, it's, it's not me. Please trust it's not me. If you would like to ask a question um, or connect with a loved one from up above, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central time. If you are watching live on YouTube, you can post a question in the chat. I go between phone calls and the chat. So, um, kind of alternating who's calling in and who's asking questions on the chat. I always start the show with names, confirmations, songs, something along those lines. I'm going to do the same thing today. We are going to start with names. These could be your name, a family member's name, a loved one on the other side's name. It, whosever name comes out, it's a confirmation that they are with you. And the first name I'm getting, and I've been getting it for a bit, is Emiliano. Emiliano. And the next name is Gertrude. <laughs> I don't think I've ever known a Gertrude in my entire life. Gertrude. Um, well, I do now, right? I, I know I know a Gertrude now. Okay. Um, the next name is Clive, Clive or Clyde, like C-L-I-V-E or C-L-Y-D-E, or maybe it's both of them, Clyde or Clive, whomever that is. The next name is um, I don't know if this is a place, a person, Minster, Minster, Minster. Um, that's the best I can do with that, and I apologize. The next one is Olivia. The next one is Rodrigo. The next one is Parma. The next one is Sa Salatini. The next one is mm. Mm, these are some names today, let me tell you. The next one is oh, Joseph. Oh, Joseph, I can say Joseph. And then I'm getting a name. It's an Egyptian name. They're just saying, say Egyptian name because I cannot pronounce the name. But if that's for you, you're going to know. Uh, the next one is Zoe, like Z. O Z O E Zo. The next one is Melinda. Michael. Lorenzo. And then I just hear Muppet. But again, if it's for you, it's for you. You're going to know. And I'm going to do, should I do confirmations or songs today? Well, the first, when I said songs, I heard that song. Um, I'm all out of love. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. <laughs> no, I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you were wrong. <laughs> Get on your sorry game and stop crying. <laughs> I'm sorry you cried. I hope you're laughing. Okay, if you've never been to the show before, let me introduce myself. Um, I try to keep everything very lighthearted, and I think I'm a comedian. I do not think I'm a singer, but I do think I'm a comedian. On the show, I kind of try to keep it lighter. Okay, um, the next uh, song is... Um, okay, since we're, I'm going to do a combination of songs and... 
songs and <clears throat> confirmation. So whatever comes out, comes out. Pink Panther. And it could be the theme song to the Pink Panther. Guys, when's the last time we thought about the Pink Panther, right, you guys? Crazer. Um, the next one is Pink Floyd. Pink Panther, Pink Floyd. Nice. And I'm seeing that like triangle rainbow sphere thing with Pink Floyd, not Pink Panther. Um, with Pink Panther, I just hear dinner. Da -da, da -na -na -na, the Pink Panther theme song. Okay. Back to the show. Okay. Um, the next song or confirmation. You know, I'm actually seeing, this is so, I'm seeing one of those, I don't know if it's a Dachshund, Dachshund or a wiener dog, but it's a little beige one. It's like the size of a puppy but sometimes when our pets come home go home they can present as like the size of a puppy again um so that's for somebody out there but it's like a little bit like a little bit of a longer dog okay um and then the next the next thing i'm hearing is or seeing song, whatever comes through. I'm seeing one of those Native American totem poles. Like, I don't know if they're Native American. I think they are, but a totem pole. So whomever that's for. And then again, um, I'm hearing a sphinx and I'm seeing an Egyptian like pyramid. So somebody here today has a connection to that in some way or somebody who's going to be hearing or listening to this. There is a lot of confirmation for you in this show. That's that's what I'm going to say. The next thing I am. <clears throat> I'm going to do two more. Bob Marley. And then I hear, I, I think this might be Bob Marley, but get up, stand up. That I think that's Bob Marley, but I'm not sure. I apologize. That could be two different things or this, you know, confirming Bob Marley. And the next one is um, that song. I want to rock and roll all day and party every night. Okay, those are the confirmations I have. If I did not, if you did not get a confirmation, it's okay because there will be so many more coming through throughout the show. You guys, I just, I was thinking this weekend and I just wanna say this. Now, if, Sometimes my mind just goes off in like these crazy directions. And um, here's here's something I was thinking this weekend or was being guided through me. You know, when people go into business and they, they start building a business and, and they really, they give it everything they have and, and they kind of, they're on their own building this business, right? And they think they have to do it on their own. And then for some reason, they showed me, you know, dealers. I'm just going to leave it at that. And if you, like, I think, I, I don't want to say too many graphic words because I might get, like, a violation on my account. But certain people who go into business, like, let's just say dealers, their idea is to spread it to as many people as possible. Right. Like, so they get these corner boys and they get people that are out spreading their inventory and all climbing like a ladder. But what if we did that with every business? Now, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> what if, like, you're a baker, not that kind of baker, though? Not like that kind of baker, but like a baker. And you have guys or girls on the corner selling your cupcakes. 
I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go to questions now. We're done with that. <laughs> but no, it makes sense. That's how their business spreads so quickly. Like, what if, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to go to callers now. <laughs> uh, this is why I'm single. <laughs> okay, 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Lisa Marie calling from Connecticut. Thank you so much. Absolutely, Lisa. How can I help you today? I was hoping for a message from my parents, Bob and Joanne. Okay. Give me just a second. You know what, Lisa Marie, the first thing they're saying is, um, and I hope this makes sense to you, and I don't think I'm going to be able to give you a ton of detail, but... Um, the first thing they're saying is um, don't be trapped by your own, don't be trapped by your own illusions. Um, and don't, don't think that the whole world, okay, the vision you hold today doesn't have to be the vision you hold tomorrow. And there is, a, um, like they're showing me a maze like a maze and there's an easy way out of this maze you have to take the back door not the front if you go out the front there's like this big crazy whatever maze you have to get through but if you take the back an unconventional way it'll happen like it's just the exit i don't know if that makes sense to you love i i hope it does um but what they are also saying is it, it can be, like, I don't want to say it can end when you want it to, but you have to start making the steps if that's what you want. And that is their message for you. I hope that's helpful, sweetie. Thank you so much, Tony. God bless you. God bless, love. And I hope that, I truly do hope that helps. I'm going to go to the first question. <clears throat> on the chat and that's from shiloh and shiloh wants to know um she has to move from her place from where she's living i'm trying to find the question again um and she wants to know will there be hmm well, there, uh, here's the question. I found it. <clears throat> so my question is, when I when I have to move from this place, where will I go? I'm very worried about that. And Shiloh, I did have some follow up questions like, do you know when you're going to have to move? Is that already in place? Um, but I guess the only thing I need to or answer is, will there be another place? Um, you're going to have to do some legwork on it. So yes, but you're going to have to do some legwork and you're going to have to find the place. It's not going to be near, it's not going to be in the same, I want to say neighborhood or area. It's not going to be close to where you are. It's going to be a little further out. And you have to be diligent. Um, if you have a full-time job, this should be your second full-time job to find everything that you need. You're really going to have to really look. And one of the things I would say, Shiloh, is if it's possible for you, figure out the area you want to be in and then go to that area and drive around. Um, also work with, I'm hearing, organizations. So sometimes uh, churches, people will put a posting on their church bulletin boards. Doesn't matter what kind of church it is. Um, or they'll, a lot of times in laundromats, people used to, I'm just seeing this, I don't know why. Um, they used to put postings for places for rent. Um, and 
go, go to the area. I just keep hearing wherever it is you think you want to be, go to that area and then go just a little bit further and see if you can find something, whether that's in an online search or in person. Okay. Uh, Shiloh, I hope that helps, but you have to be very diligent. You have to be way on top of it. Okay, sweetie. I hope, I hope that helps. Uh, la, 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 la. The next uh, caller. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, thank you for taking my call. My name is Marquis and I'm calling from Chicago. Excellent. How can I help you, love? I am job hunting. I'm wondering when you see an offer coming my way or a couple of them. Okay, the first thing I hear is next month. And that's okay because we are near the end of August. So that would put us right into right. September. And if I'm being more exact, and uh -huh. I don't know what day this falls on, but I'm seeing September 5th be really significant. Now I'm going to ask this in another way also. I'm going to ask, have you applied to the job you're going to, to accept? No. Uh, that doesn't mean don't take the, the, don't entertain interviews or offers because something come, you may get some offers from what you've already put out, but something is coming that might be even better. So say it's okay to say yes to an offer and to, 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 to entertain an offer, negotiate it, do whatever you need to do. And, but to keep looking, I do feel like there is something coming in and you may find this Wednesday, tomorrow or Wednesday, but make sure you keep looking other than those days. You're going to find gosh. this and it's going to be, you're, you're, I just am hearing, you're going to know when you see it. You're going to know when you see it. Now, I, I, if you've listened to my show before, you know I always say, go to, even if you find the listing, let's say on a LinkedIn or a, 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 wherever you're looking, Indeed or wherever, go to the website and look at that listing and any other listings they have. I always say, go to the company website and make sure you're doing your due diligence okay. there. Apply through the company website also, both places. Apply through both. Okay. And then what I'm hearing is one of the things I'm hearing, and I know most people know this, and I know you know it, but for some reason they're saying this, and I think it has to do with AI, because that's what I'm hearing is use, use the company keywords. So if they're using okay. AI, um, their company keywords are going to be very important for you. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. God bless. You, you are so welcome. God bless. And please keep looking because even though you're going to get some offers, there might be something even better like right around the corner. Okay, sweetie? I will do. Thanks again. You, you are so, so welcome. And uh, one other quick thing on that is, um, I think she already hung up. One other quick thing I was going to say is be open to looking outside of your area. So for example, if you're in Chicago, be willing to go to the um, suburbs or the uh, close to the state line for that. But yeah, that's what happens when you hang up so quickly and get offline, then you don't get the rest of the message. You always want to hang out for that after message. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, hi, Tony, a coworker. I feel she is a thief. Is it true? Her name is Kimberly. Ooh, Gypsy Ann, you have me really answering a very, is she a thief? What I'm hearing is go with your gut. Um, within a month, you're going to have confirmation. Go with your gut. Uh, you, I am just he hearing go with your, your gut. And you know what? Sometimes people can just be 
very secretive or sneaky and that can make you think that too but whatever it is i'm hearing just go with your gut because you're going to get your answer that way also okay love i hope that's helpful if you'd like to call in and ask a question the call in number is 845-277-9131 if you want to ask in the chat go ahead and post your question in the chat. I am going to try to get to as many people as I can today. 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Lynn from Northwest Suburbs in Illinois. Hey Lynn, how can I help you today? Um, I've been struggling and pretty, pretty much in a dark place physically and mentally um, trying to move forward. Um, does my mother or spirit have any, can you any messages for me? Can you please give me your mom's first name, love? Lynn. I'm sorry? Lynn. Uh, is that your first name or your mom's first name? My mother's is Virgie. Virgie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. So I'm going to start clearing for you and everybody else um, listening, watching, whatever, all the heavy energy, just any heavy, outdated energies. We're going to clear that. And I actually did a, a, a TikTok or clearing this morning for survival mode, which would really benefit you also. I'll be uploading it to YouTube and everything else later this afternoon. One thing I can say is okay. there is like a, let's just take that. There's like a, I can't, the only word I can use for this love is a static ball. Like there's a big, like usually we have our ball of energy, which is pretty clear or white or, you know, uh, whatever. Yours has a lot of static in it. So we're going to pull that out, not me, but... Um, they're going to come in and they're going to pull this out. Um, the one thing that your mom, Virgie, would say is, um, it's that Bob Marley, I think it's Bob Marley, get up, stand up. Um, and I see you standing, just being on grass, just standing on grass. And I see um, being with nature being really important for you right now, even if it's just right outside of your door. Um, I'm going to also clear, well, not me, but them, the, I'm going to ask that they clear the home and you. Um, there's just so much stagnation with this. There's just, it almost like when I'm tapping into your energy, like it's like, I don't want to use the word nothingness, but like, um, like it's that place where we're just so fogged out, you know, like, what did I come in this room for? And then you can't remember and you're like, I have no idea. I can't think of anything. Mm -hmm. It's that energy. It's true. Okay. Thank you for that confirmation. So I'm asking that they pull because there's something and energy is just energy. It's, it doesn't have power over us unless we succumb to it. So, um, but energy can take any form when we get really lost and confused or feel like something is overwhelming or we just don't know what the next best step is, our energy will just sit with that. So I'm asking that they clear all of that energy out. And it's almost taking an industrial vacuum and like pulling dust out of a place <laughs> is the best way I can define what I'm seeing that they're doing. And for anybody else experiencing any of this, they're going to do the same thing. Um, they're going to take everything now and just move it, just move it outside 
of you and your space. And I'm even feeling now like, like all of a sudden my eyes pop open. I'm like, okay, phew, huh, we're back. So they're going to continue to do that. And the biggest message I can give, give you from, from your loved one and other loved ones on the other side is like, if you maybe not, not right now, because it's, it's, it's such a beautiful hot day outside, but when you can open, open up and let fresh air in. And then also the other thing is to get out and just, even if you just sit out, that's going to be so helpful um, for you. Um, as we go into fall, things are going to lighten up for you, but you have to like write things out like lists of things you need to do or want to do to remind yourself every day to get your they're using the term cognitive thinking turned back on to get out of that stagnation of just like i'm just going to sit here all day or i don't know what to do just even if it's um just uh you know i'm i'm going to give you an example and if you don't I'm, I'm just going to give you an example. Um, when yeah. when we were in, don't go any place, just hear the example and I'll finish up. When we were in lockdown, and my mom had had to have her hip surgery, whatever. So she was kind of in a wheelchair and my youngest brother lived with her and he has Downs. And, but he's he's very high functioning my mom would just say to him, Stevie, get the wheelchair. <laughs> and he would help her in the wheelchair and he would like push her up and down the block and to the, they lived fairly close to a mall. So he would push her to the mall and they would just walk around and any people that were out and also wanting to communicate they would communicate with them. They would just start a conversation and she would go like, to the mall which was again very close and then they would talk to anybody who was there and just have that communication and that um being outside and being amongst others and then they would go back and then after dinner she would say come on let's go um, because she could not drive now if when she could drive she would say to him come on let's go we're going to take a ride and she didn't care where she went she knew the importance of being out of the house, just being out in fresh air and going places and keeping your mind active. So one of the things I'm getting for you, Lynn, is um, to get to be in whatever way you can active and pick up whatever, like I don't want to minimize this with the word I'm about to use, but pick up any hobby you can um and start doing it just to keep your mind going in a new direction with new thoughts and being productive and we minimize we really minimize the need for new things in our life and creativity and doing different things the happiest some of the happiest people i know some of the most well-functioned people I know own their own business and every day they're doing different things and they're constantly seeking ways to bring in more clients and or um, get more business or how to finish a certain job or take on new jobs. And that's something that we kind of lost as a society for a minute because of of some lockdown stuff and we have to get back into it so sweetie even if it's a even if it's just doing crosswords cr is that what it's called C crosswords i think that's what they're called those big books with the, the like puzzles in them yes whatever those are do something but do it if you can outside especially right now while it's still somewhat nice outside and you can be outside and into the fall you're going to see your cognitive thinking change and your brain start to reactivate and the other thing i'm getting is just to cleanse your system i would use the other word that starts with d but 
Again, I don't want the show to get flagged. So I'm going to say cleanse your body the best that you can. Okay, sweetie, thank you so much for your uh, your your uh, your um, your question. Thank you for calling in. If you would like to call in, um, 845-277-9131, or you can post a question in the YouTube chat. Here I go. Uh, Stephanie says, I start a new job next Tuesday. Congratulations. And I'm nervous, but an excited nervous. Hope things go well. They will. They're, they're going to be good. I'm going to, uh, any hiccups, any chaos, let's clear that now. You're going to acclimate quickly. I'm getting Stephanie. You're going to acclimate very, very quickly on that. Uh, okay. Let's see, the next caller, I believe, is 646. Whew. 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Mary, and I'm calling from New York. Hey, Mary, how can I help you today? Hi, uh, so I'm also looking for a job, and I have just returned from being overseas for a while, but I'm kind of looking for a remote position to allow me to go back and forth between where my partner lives abroad and here in New York. So I'm wondering if I should be getting a part-time position or full-time position in what I used to do in the past, or should I be um, looking to get a certification in something that's naturally more remote, like digital marketing or AI-related and find a job in that area going forward or if i should do some trading if i should learn how to trade properly and if that would be profitable if i were to um, follow certain gurus or even allow them to trade for me so these are just ideas that i have mulling in my head right now and i'm not quite sure um, what the best way to go is so i would really appreciate it if you have any insights Okay, so a couple things, and I'm going to try to uh, go through everything as quickly as I can. First, if you do what you did before, that'll be fine. It'll work out. Go full-time, not part-time. And if you want to get into something um, remotely, um, don't jump on a bandwagon is what I'm hearing. First, go to what you know, and while you're doing what you know, learn something new and you can transition later or implement it into what you're already doing. There are um, some, there's one job website, one website that has only, it has all remote jobs. And there are certain companies that only hire, like all of their staff is all remote. So look into that, like just, you know, look those things up. And then, um, and that's where I'm going to leave that because I can't, uh, there was a lot to, un oh, the, the stock, you know, I always tell people don't, I don't advise on stocks, but if you're going to do stocks, there's a guy and I don't know his name, but I always see his videos come up. And I think this is hilarious. What he does is he follows some of our politikia. <laughs> I'm trying not to say certain words. Um, some of our people in higher up spaces and their trades because they do, they know because of the deals that they make with corporations, they know what's going to go up in stock and what will not. Um, so he, he tells everybody every day, this is, this certain politician bought this stock, let's put money in it. It's going to go up because the politician just bought it. So that is what I would advise if you can find that person. I'm sorry, I don't recall his name, but he is online quite a bit. And he openly says this is what he does. So that is how I can answer your question, love. I hope that was helpful. Yes, thank you. Um, could I just ask no. quickly? No. When do you see me getting? No. <laughs> no. Okay, listen. Listen. I allow everybody one question. 
And in their question, I, I actually answered like three questions for you. And I tried to get to everybody. And if you knew the line of people waiting behind you, and I feel horrible when I say no, I feel I'm going to be thinking about that until tomorrow. Um, the, what I can say, love, is the sooner you start looking, the, so, the sooner you really get serious about it, the sooner you're going to find it and you need to get serious about it right now. Um, so that's what I can say for you, love. I'm so sorry if that was rude. I really am. Um, Elizabeth wants to know, hi, Tony, should I buy a vacation investment home in Missouri? That does not feel strong. The price would probably be right. But I feel like you have to be very careful because of loopholes. And, you know, they're really cracking down on these um, vacation rentals. Um, if you're thinking about a vacation, like Airbnb thing, they're really cracking down on it in the areas they can be in. And they, in most areas, they can't be in residential. Second. I feel like I just keep hearing the word loopholes with this, Elizabeth. Loopholes, loopholes, loopholes. Um, if you want to buy an investment property in Missouri, you can go ahead. Should it be a vacation rental? It would be okay, but I just feel like there's going to be a lot of loopholes and you're going to have to be really careful. And I see you have to really get a very, in Missouri in general, they're not saying any specific area or any specific house. You have to be very, very careful of some kind of structural, stru I can never say that word structural um, problems. Now, I don't want to say foundation because it's just the stru structure itself, okay? So please be mindful of that and make sure you have a really good inspector. And if you want to just buy it for you for the future, yes, but go low on a good property with a good structure. Don't, I just hear don't go over the top. Have have your budget in place, okay, love? 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, I'm back from Mexico. This is Kate. Hey, Kate, how are you today? Great, I had, I'm recovering, I had a, <laughs> Fantastic trip and extremely and glad I took Spanish classes and it was, I wouldn't say relaxing vacation, but fun, action-packed type. Excellent. Excellent. How can I help you, love? So my, um, I was in this kind of artist collective kind of gift shop gallery place. And I really felt my mom. It, it was like I knew she was around me. So I'd like to hear any message from my mother, Margaret. Okay, excellent, Kate. Give me a second. So um, the first thing Margaret says is get back on board. Whatever that means for you, get back on board. Don't procrastinate. Okay. Don't... Um, uh, I'm going to say this message. It doesn't mean your lifespan. Okay. It's, they're not talking about the amount of time in your life. You don't have as much time as you think. So if you think you have a certain amount of time to accomplish something, do something, they're saying it's shortened for some reason it's shortened. So get back on board, get, get, get back into whatever it is you need to get back into and get it going right away. Don't take too much time in between. I hope that makes sense to you, love. Okay, yes, thank you. 
And the other thing, she wants to give you a confirmation and it, it, it's that's it's this song. I don't really know the song, but it's about butterflies. Butterflies and da, da. I'm not even singing it on beat because I don't really know it. In my head, I can hear certain words, but but your confirmation is anytime you see butterflies and anytime you see anything butterfly related, know that they are with you. Okay, sweetie? Yeah, and uh, any confirmation about that store? I mean, that was her? Yeah. With yeah, me in the of, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, I just hear, of course it was. Like, like so matter <laughs> of fact, of course it was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. And I just keep hearing, get back on board, get back on board, get back on board. And Kate, I, I hope you didn't go any place yet, but one of the things I'm hearing for you with your love for traveling and being somewhat of a nomad or a gypsy, look at positions that allow, and I, uh, I'm i just going to say this, and I see get back on board and I see a ship. So if there's a position you could get, like maybe with something along those lines, look into it. Um, you might be pleasantly surprised. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know if I'm connecting all of that correctly, but I definitely hope I am. Karen, happy birthday. So it's it's Karen's birthday today. I believe she's next. Hey, Genevieve, how are you? Laura, um, uh, can you be more specific, Laura? Can you give me a specific area? I'm gonna give Karen a birthday message. Um, I hear that song by, I think it's Blondie, Take a Chance on Me. Da -na 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 Take a Chance on Me. Um, and then the next thing I hear for you, Karen, is, um, oh, I hear another song. Oh, Mamba. Oh, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. Oh, Mambo. I always say it's oh mama, but it's not. It's I think it's oh because it's mambo Italian. Maybe it is oh mama, mambo Italiana. I don't know. If you know, you know. Um, and I that's the second song I'm hearing. And then the next thing I'm hearing is eat the cake today. <laughs> and the emphasize today. <laughs> and then the next thing I'm seeing is um like those turtles, you know, those chocolate caramel and pecan turtles those i'm seeing those so then and then i want to give you this message um that they just keep going back to the song take a chance on me i don't know i think the only words i'm hearing are take a chance on me and then i go to go to do the next line and they it's faded away I, I i go back to take a chance on me and the next thing uh i and even if i try to go to another message for you karen that that is what they're saying take a chance on me so whatever that means for you um i hope it makes sense for you and happy birthday beautiful i hope it's just the most amazing day ever uh, i don't know if i did 504 i think i did i'm gonna go to 914 914, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Victoria from New York. Hey, Victoria, how can I help you today? Uh, yes, thank you for taking my call. Um, me and the ex, we for our home recently, maybe a couple of months ago for sale, and I wanted to know, do you see when it, would, when it will sell? We just lowered the price. Okay, give me a second here. <sighs> Sure. Okay, I asked it a little bit differently. As of right now, everything standing as it is, I feel like the it's going to close in October and in the first half of October, which means the offer should come in in September and Okay. I do feel like now. That's great. Here's what I'm going to say. 
this may be either you guys are going to, you're going to go out of town or this is because I hear early September and then I hear out of town. I don't want to jump on what's going to be out of town. You may be going out of town. You may, may somebody either and this father will see his new wife and, I, and that's in Europe. I'm sorry. The ex, I call him the ex, I don't like to use the word my, um, he recently got married uh, and we got divorced in February. So I'm just going to have to take it off the of Bluetooth. Um, in October, it's uh, what would make sense because we had a house in Europe and he got married and that's where his new wife is. So he would go in October and this September beginning in October to Europe. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay. I, and, and again, I'm just going to say again, I feel like the house might, the, the house might close in October, the one in New York. And then either this might be, this could be someone from out of town purchasing it, or you're going to go uh, something about out of town, but as it pertains to you, as it pertains decide to go in a different direction yeah, okay. whatever it is it's a confirmation okay. you're in the right direction okay beautiful thank you very very much i really appreciate it, it makes a lot of sense you are so so welcome and okay excuse me. okay everything looks good please keep us posted okay love I will definitely do that. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. Have an amazing uh, rest of the day. And I'm sorry. I Well, if, if, if the divorce was good, I'm not sorry. But I'm sorry for the struggles that you're going through. Okay. Um, I know that sounds weird. But uh, uh, okay. I'm going to go to... Let me see here. What was this one up here? Uh I'm going to go to Aaron. Aaron wants to know. Uh, hey, Tony, any relationship on the horizon? Yes, plenty. Okay, so here's the thing, Aaron, and I'm saying this with um, Here's what I'm going to say. Yeah, you know, if you, uh, I hear right place, right time. I, I see fall type clothes like uh, pants and t-shirts. I see a shopping bag on one arm with a beverage that you're drinking out of a straw on another arm. I don't know why I'm getting this detail for you. But basically when you're out and about and you are um, just doing the things you would do, um, I see you like um, not inside of a place, but outside of a store, like on a um, sidewalk and you're talking to someone. I, and what I can say is, uh, Again, I hear right place, right time, get up, get out, start, and you probably do things, um, but I feel like you're going to meet this person when you are doing like just normal everyday things, not, not like a, it's not a blind date. I feel like there might be the opportunity for a blind date, but don't, don't, it, it won't, it won't be that. It won't be that. And then I hear the term casual encounter. And then I hear the term, <laughs> I'm not singing that. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> then I hear a song. <laughs> this is... <laughs> and then I hear the song, Let's Get It On. Um, I, that is not saying do that. That is not a confirmation. You should do that. Because let's get it on could mean that, but it could also mean let's let's get together, let's get to know each other. <laughs> uh, don't uh, jump into something on that song. Um, that might even be for the next person. Don't. No. Um, the the next thing I hear is. Um, 
Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And if I have to look at a timeline, I'm hearing early October for that. It could come in a little sooner, but early, early October. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, 480. 480, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Mike, and I am currently in Wyoming. Hey, Mike. How are you? And I'm fantastic, and I also have a grandmother on my dad's side named Gertrude. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Excellent. Okay, Mike, how can I help you today? Thank you for the confirmation. Absolutely. Um, well, I'm uh, in the job market uh, and looking to continue remote uh, working and so forth. And I was just curious, I have a, a test a job out tomorrow um, for digital marketing. Basically, they show you kind of um, how they go about it and make sure it's a fit for anybody, for, for both sides. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, just kind of wanted to get an idea of what you see coming up. Okay, I feel like this might be, uh, be very, ask a lot of questions, but ask open-ended questions when you go in tomorrow. The next thing that I'm hearing is um, in about a month, you're going to get the position or find the position within a month or about a month's time. You're gonna find a position that you really enjoy, you really like, you're going to want. Um, I do feel like you need to go outside of your normal search. Your no And I'm hearing don't go pie in the sky. Is that how I say it? Don't go... Um, they're singing that song, Don't Go Chasing, I don't know, Waterfall, something. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it, don't, don't, um, it, what I'm hearing is make sure it's a job job, okay? That I think is what they're trying to say. Make sure it's a job job. Um, and normally I'm all for entrepreneurship, but in this case, what they're saying is make sure it's a job job. Um, and I feel like within or right around that month mark in between the third and fourth week, you're going to find the position and it's going to go very quickly to you getting brought into that position. Okay. So that's what I have for you, my friend. I hope that helps. I feel like so this. Not much not much potential with the thing for tomorrow? I was just, yeah, I was just going to follow up with that. And I was just going to say, I feel like whatever okay. the thing is tomorrow, when you get there, you're going to go, like, I just feel like you might feel like it might not be the best fit for you. You might feel like, wait okay. a minute. Mm, okay. So just make sure you're asking a lot of questions about it, if that makes sense to you. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in. For, you know, there's quite a few people today looking for work. So anything stopping or blocking anyone from finding a career, a job, a position with a company that is best for them, let's clear, heal, release that. Let's pull it all out. Let's move everything in the way and get them. <clears throat> wow and get them into the right company with the right pay and clear release, remove all that stopping or blocking this. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go <clears throat> to the next question. Um, uh, Chris, let's do Chris's question, oh my goodness. Hello, um, I go to court next week for a DUI charge almost three years ago. Do you see me going to jail and losing my driver's license? Um, Chris, is this your first, second, third, first? I need to know what number. I don't feel like you're going to. I need to know what number it is before I can tell you in what area are you in. I feel like, is he going to go to jail? 
I feel like it's going to be, I, it might not be called probation, but I feel like it's like a probationary status, like a check-in status. And I feel like it's, it's a little bit more complicated than you're making it sound on here, but I'm going to, Chris, is this your first, second, third? Please give me that if you can. Okay. Um, Chris, I appreciate that. I feel like, I, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. Um, goodness gracious. Do you see any trips coming up for me over the next four months? Not big ones. Uh, not right now. I feel like after January. If you do anything, it might be like a day trip or an overnight trip. <clears throat> hey, Tony and all from the USA. Hey, Paul. Um, any message from my dad, Gary? We did not see eye to eye in this world. He had a drinking problem. Does he know I love him? Yeah, he does and to forgive him. Yeah, he does. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you went through. What I can tell you is he does know that you love him and he knows that you forgive him. And he's asking you to take the blame of things off of yourself. Um, a lot of times we don't realize how much we are blaming ourselves or how much guilt we're taking on with it. Um, just to uh, take it all off of yourself. You you know, it, the way he's saying it, until the end, you were my child and you never really had the opportunity to be a kid. I hope that makes sense to you. And I hope you understand what he's saying by that and how he means it. One of the things I would say to you is, um, go third party like you're giving somebody advice for all the things that happened to you and you would tell them that none of it was their fault so none of this it shouldn't fall on you but you you shouldn't feel guilty or even i don't know if guilty is the right word but sometimes you might i'm trying to I'm going to try to explain this if I don't if I don't get the verbiage correct or the right order I apologize but sometimes when we have a parent that was like that we we kind of feel like um there could have should have would have been something more we could have done or to try to appease or even toward the end make it better and there it, it was ex I need you to know it was exactly the relationship it was supposed to be you were able to understand everything in the way you were. There's more understanding coming in, especially over the next six weeks to four months. There's going to be a lot more understanding coming in for why everything was the way it was. But don't take it on. Okay, that's what I can say. Isabella wants to know what are my... Oh, Isabella, we've gone through that a couple times. Isabella, you have to just let go of Nick. I know it's difficult when we break up with someone. We want to know they care about us. We want to know they're still thinking about us. Seconds. We want to know, um, are they coming back? And we kind of hope they do. We kind of hope they will come back and they will, like, be that like all of a sudden they're going to have a light bulb moment even if they have a light bulb moment it's not a lightning bolt volt that bolt volt that changes who they are and how they operate with you um 60 seconds if you can let go of nick you can meet someone new and i know it's difficult and you don't want to do that anytime soon but the best thing for you is to try to redirect your focus and attention on something else because it's really you want to be the healthiest version of yourself okay love i really want you to be the healthiest version of yourself everybody i will be back wednesday at 7 
p.m. Central. If I did not get to answer your question now, I apologize. Please come back Wednesday and I will do my best to get to you. Remember, I am. you can 15 minutes early call in or 15 minutes early come on the chat and get your questions in. Thank you so much, everybody. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.